What is going on guys? Now Destiny 1 is coming to an end and I ain't gonna lie, I'm going to miss it. The game has changed my life for the better, there's no doubt in that. Now over the next few weeks I am bringing you guys a few videos going back over great instances of Destiny which made it in my opinion one of the best games ever. And to start this deal, we're travelling way, way back into the early days of year one to talk about that also iconic, you guessed it guys, the original loot cave. Now year two and three players will not remember this place. They may have seen a video on it, heard a fellow guardian talk about it, but to actually be there and use this exploit was as fun as anything I can remember to come out of Destiny it really was. Now most people will say or ask, how was this fun? Now you got to remember, at the time this loot cave was alive, it was early days into the game. Many people, including myself, hadn't reached a top level yet. The grind was real way back. The rewards were still out there in full. And to find a place like this, where it takes all of those things I just mentioned and made them simple to achieve, was a great thing. And many of us back then, who were used to the real grind Destiny offered back in year one, we loved this thing we really did. Now this cave was located within Skywatch, within the Cosmodrome on Earth. I actually think I went there that many times, I could probably go there from spawn with my eyes closed. Now this cave was the original, many loot caves were found after this, but this was definitely the best. I remember spending at least 8 hours a day or 8 hours of my gaming time playing Destiny a day right here at this place. I think it spawns 6 enemies every 6 seconds or something like that. And all you would do is just sit back and pop them off and watch them engrams flow. Skywatch used to be full of guardians using this spot and a lot of the time you didn't even have to shoot as there were so many people there doing it. You could just sit back, chill, eat your dinner and watch engrams drop for you. It was the best when you saw a legendary engram drop and you hadn't even fired a shot. And you'd stand in front of the cave, stopping them enemies from actually spawning in and popping off a little dance. Now this spot did cause a stir. Bungie obviously didn't like the fact people were getting their loot this way. And they mentioned that, and obviously a lot of the community suck-ups agreed with this fact, which is fair enough, it was a cheap and easy way of getting that also juicy loot. So Bungie nerfed it, they broke the cave, and it was of no more. I know they mentioned something along the lines of into the millions of enemies were slain from guardians farming this spot, and they've actually added an easter egg to this very loot cave. When you activate the pile of ruins in this cave, you will hear a voice speak this. A million deaths are not enough for Master Raoul. And that was the end of that. People moved on. But in all seriousness, I actually think this loot cave was the underlying factor of why Bungie made things so much easier to obtain. They probably realised we wanted easy loot and changed everything. The game back then in year one was a real grind. Things like this did indeed make it much, much easier to get that better loot, but it wasn't a game-breaking exploit. Yes, it wasn't the way they wanted us to play their game, but the loot obtainable from here was extremely limited. It was a great place to go and be, a place like no other in year two, a place not a single year one guardian didn't know about, a legendary place which will be in the thoughts of year one guardians in many, many years and destiny games from now. And on that note, guys, I am out. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.